In this video, we're going to be looking at binomial probabilities. Binomial probabilities are not that different than regular probabilities, but we do have a different formula, one that's kind of a shortcut for helping us figure out these probabilities. Now, binomial probabilities are probabilities in which there are one of two events that are going to happen, and there's going to be some repeated event. So if we look at our example here, Albert Pujol's batting average is 0 0.320. We want to know what is the probability that he gets exactly two hits in his next three at-bats. So in this case, the two outcomes are either Albert gets a hit or he does not. And the repeated events are he's going to go up to bat a number of times, in this case, three times. So we want to know what's his probability of getting exactly two hits in his next three at bats. So we're going to look at the formula and then we'll also look at how to do this on the calculator. And so what we have is he's going up to bat three times. So this will be his first at bat, second at bat, and third at bat. So he could get his two hits in a number of different ways. He could get a hit on the first and second at bat. That would be one possibility. Or he could get a hit on his first and third at bat. That's another possibility. So there's a number of possibilities uh, where he could get his hits. And the way in which we select uh, or we figure out how many different ways we can select two things out of three things is with combinations, which we learned before. So combination 3-2, that would tell us the total number of ways in which Albert could get two hits out of three at bats, and that, that ends up being three different ways. So now that we've figured that out, let's look at how we'll actually compute this probability. So the probability uh, for his first hit, let's say that he's going to get a hit first and second and strike out third. So the probability he gets a hit on his first at bat is 0.320 probability that he gets a hit on his second at bat, also 0 0.320, and the probability that he gets a hit on his, or a strikeout, rather, on his third at bat would be 0 0.680. And of course I got that by doing 1 minus 0 0.320. I know that he either has to get a hit or not, so that would be the complementary probability right there. So now this example right here that I wrote out is a hit, a hit, and not a hit. Again, it could be in a different order, but that's taken care of down here by saying how many different ways could he get two hits out of three at bats. So we're going to take combination 3-2 and multiply that times 0 0.320 squared, since there's two of them, times 0 0.680 to the first, because there's one of those. So this is uh, our binomial probability. It's C in X, where N is the number of trials and X is the number of successful trials we want. So in our earlier example, there are three trials because he's going to bat three times. And there are two successful trials because we want him to get two at bats. Then we have times P to the X power, where P is the probability of success, and Q to the N minus X power. So what this is saying is that it's a probability of success raised to the power of how many successes there are. So in this case, 0 0.320 to the second, that's two hits, and that's his probability of getting a hit. Q is our probability of failure, so in this case it would be the probability of not getting a hit, so 0 0.680, and N minus X is how many failures there would be. So if he gets two hits in three at-bats, that would mean he gets one that is not a hit. So that's our basic formula. But like I said, we can also put it into the calculator. And the way we'll put it into the calculator, there, depending on whether you have a TI-84 or TI-83, uh, it'll differ. But the basic idea is we'll use the binome PDF function. And the order that we put things in is we put the N first, so that one. So we're going to put the 3 first. The probability of success, 0 0.320. And then how many successful trials we want, so 2. And that will figure it out for us. We don't need to put in the probability of failure because the calculator knows that if this is the probability of success, then 1 minus that would be the probability of failure. So let's compute that on our calculator. So to get the binome PDF function, what we'll do is we'll hit the second key and then the VARS button. So what we're looking for is distributions. 
and we're going to go down to binome PDF right there. Now, this is where it looks different if you have a TI-83 or TI-84. With the TI-84, it brings this up and asks you for the trials and the P and the X, uh, and then pastes that value right like that. If you have a TI-83, you'll have to type it in yourself uh, in the correct order, uh, which is not that difficult. You just have to remember the correct order, uh, which is that it's in in this case is 3, the probability of success, which was 0 0.320, and then and the comma button's right above the 7 key, and then the number of successful trials we want is 2. So our probability of Albert Pujols getting 2 hits in his next 3 at-bats is 0 0.208896.